welcome! In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can scrape data from an interactive map using Parsub. To begin, open the Parsub client, click on New Project, and enter the website that you would like to scrape. In this case, I'll be scraping a link from Trivago that I've already looked up beforehand. Click on Start Project on this URL. There are three areas on your Parsub project. On the left-hand side is where you have your commands and settings. In the middle is the interactive view of the website. And at the very bottom is where you can preview your data in either CSV or JSON. As you hover over elements on the map, these should be highlighted in blue. If this is not the case, it's possible that your map may not be scrapable using Parslib. If you're unsure about whether your map can be scraped, please contact us at helloparsub.com and we can take a look into it for you. To select one of the elements on the map, you can hover over it and click on it. The selected element will be highlighted in green, and on the left-hand side you'll see a selection for it. This number here shows how many elements have been selected, at the moment one. You can also see a column for our selection one below, showing the price that we've selected. Parsa will also highlight similar elements in yellow. If you click on one of the similar elements, Parsub should know that you want to scrape those elements as well. You can now see that Parsub has scraped 27 elements, all of which are highlighted on the page. We can call this Hotel instead of Selection 1 to make it more descriptive. By default, it will refer to the text as Name, but in this case, we can change it to Price. Below you can see the hotel price column with each of the prices extracted below. To click on each of these prices and bring up the hotel card, we can click on the plus sign next to select hotel and choose a click command. The click command will ask us if our selection is a next page button to which we can say no, after which it will give us the option to continue executing the current template. We can click on stay on current template. On the page, you'll see that the first card has been opened. To get the data that appears on it, click on the plus sign next to Select Hotel, choose a Select command, and select the name of the hotel, for example. This has been called Selection 1, but we can call this Name. You can continue to use more Select commands to select more elements by clicking on the plus sign next to Select Hotel, choosing a Select command, and selecting another element, such as the rating. We can call this rating. There are other actions that you could take, such as clicking on View Deal to go to the page itself. However, for simplicity, we'll just be scraping the actual data on the map. Since we added in the click, our preview has been disabled. But we can ensure that our project is working as expected by going to Get Data and performing a test run. A test run allows us to play through the commands that we've created so we can see what each one does and make sure that they're behaving as expected. You have the option of going through them step by step, clicking on play, or playing through them quickly. I can click on play. Once the hotels have appeared, Parsib will select the first hotel, extract its price, click on it, Extract the name and the rating, which you can see populating below. And then repeat this for the next hotel by clicking on that hotel, extracting its price, extracting the name, and its rating as well. As Parsar runs through all the different cards, you'll see the information start to populate here. Now that we've demonstrated that our project works as expected, we can exit the test run and go to Get Data again. If we click on Run, it will run the project on our servers, after which you'll be able to download your data in either CSV or JSON format. In this tutorial, we have demonstrated how you can scrape data from an interactive map using Parsub. On our Help Center at help.parsub.com, we have plenty of other tutorials, such as how to get latitude and longitude from a map, how to click into details pages, or how to scrape reviews and ratings. If you have any questions regarding your own project, you can always contact us at helloparsub.com.
we'd be happy to help. Happy parsing!